Merry Christmas. Uh, this was such a bad idea. When will it end? Should not have done all of these in one go. But we're still here. We're still working. Let's throw this fucking switch and see what it does. <laughs> Holy shit! What an advancement! An an advancement? Oh my god! I tried to say an announcement and advancement at the same time. All right. Leave me alone. English is my third language. Well, if you must know, my first language is your, and my second language is mum. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to be so aggressive. Okay, now... This all of a sudden has turned into a bit of a puzzle. I'm trying to work out... Okay, the blower's on. Okay, so that did a thing. And then the blower's gonna blow me upwards. Yes! Okay, it wasn't much of a puzzle. We're advancing, though. I like the fact that we're advancing. That's good. Let's follow the child. Oh, I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna catch you, bitch. Holy shit! We're fucking nearly dead. Okay, is that the last conveyor belt? Nope. No, nope, there's more conveyor belts. Cool. Alright. Oh, we don't have a switch this time. I guess I'm just gonna follow the conveyors. And we're gonna go... Oh, see? See? That's what happens when you run. You fuck it up. Yahoo! To our deaths. I would more appreciate a, a grinding, crunching sound when he falls in there, please. And then we go this way. And then there's a switch. So we flick the switch. And then we flick at a switch. Like we flick at a wrist. And where we end up... I do not know. Okay. See, I'm not even paying attention. Like, a good puzzle will make you look at what's happening and be like, okay, so that did that. So if I do that, and then maybe I do that instead, that'll work better. A bad puzzle, which is what this is, you hit the switch and you go, okay, I'll just go in the only direction I can go. Because I'm guessing that that's the direction the game wants me to go. Because it's the only one available. <laughs> I feel like I've, I've definitely talked about this before, but yeah, no, it's it, it does irk me when games do faux puzzles. And by that, I mean uh, sounding like an absolute snooty bitch. Puzzles that aren't puzzles. They're just a progression of things that you do with no thought. But, I mean, did the rest of this game really make you think that it was going to be high quality? You know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. But yeah, like, like, so, to increase normally with a puzzle like this, you would do, on the face of it, what this puzzle is doing. You would increase the number of switches, increase the number of uh, directions and uh, conveyor belts, and then maybe introduce new elements like the jumps. That's all good. That's all gold. You know, that's what a puzzle is. It introduces more and more and more and makes itself more complicated. But when there's only one path that your character can possibly follow, it's not a puzzle anymore, it's a thing. It's just going through the motions. Uh, but not to be, let's not be too critical. Um, I do enjoy the toot toot sound that the, uh, the conveyor belts make when you change them around. I think that's good. That's a good thing. I, I am a sucker for a good toot toot. Left. Oh, it's the little asshole kid. Okay, he's right there. You, stay put. I'm gonna flick the switch and it's gonna fix everything. You watch. Don't you fucking run. You little shit! You little fucking bastard! Alright, I'm fucking coming. Jesus Christ, let's go. Ah, fucking broke my cranium. Go this way. Right, where are we going? Where, where is the conveyor belt taking us today? I feel like we're gonna nowhere. But yeah, like, like, for, like, let's say some positive things about this game. It, it had a Herculean task. It had to turn 
a film that would not necessarily be game worthy into something that would make sense for a game and that that's that can be difficult i appreciate that well at least we're on top of the present pile okay now we're at the bottom of the present pile okay makes sense there must be a way out why don't we use the present sense as a ladder and climb up to the top of the pile these presents are fucking huge who's getting these gifts i'm not sure that will work sounds pretty dangerous oh stop being a pussy let's go well then you follow us and then we'll take the lead and work out a safe way ahead I don't mind. I'm happy to go with you. Sure. I mean, you yeah, I like him now. He's like, I'm happy to go with you. After it's all his fault that we're goddamn here in the first place. Alright. Oh, you do get more than nine lives. The life counter must have just been a little bit dodgy and broken. Because I swear it stayed on nine for ages. Even though we are getting more lives. Hey, could you not, please? Okay, I need to start... Taking this more seriously. We can't afford to repeat this shit. I hate climbing these fucking presents. What's over here? Nothing. It's a dead end. A good game would have had a little prize there. Come on. Don't be so negative. Don't be so negative. Say something positive about this game. Uh, it's one of the very few Christmas games that I've ever seen. I don't, I don't think they're... I can't think off the top of my head of... Oh, shit. I can't think off the top of my head of another game solely based around Christmas. This game with Christmas themed levels like Super Mario and all sorts, but but uh, I can't think of a single other game that's solely Christmas, which might make making more Christmas specials a bit tricky. But I'm sure we'll figure something out. I do like how the game. Oh shit! Well, is there anything down here while I'm here? There's a couple of coins that I don't really care about. I like how the game introduced those heart container things now. Because the oh, because they knew that this part of the game was fucking bullshit and you would take damage all the fucking time. No! I hate this child. I want this child to stop existing, please. Okay. We just need to take our time, man. Just stop being in a fucking rush. I would appreciate some health soon, please. I'm taking damage like an absolute sleaze. Well, that was totally cool. Oh, wait, no health. Drop. Drop down. Drop down. Um, my man, grab the flipping rope. Oh. Wait. No, that was the perfect cheat. I love, ooh, what's that? Is that just to skip the whole thing? Nope, that's just to get, why would there be a thing there to get back up, ah, okay. But if you get down there, you might as well just fucking respawn. That's all I'm saying. How are we supposed to grab this other rope? Okay, look, the perfect cheat. Just ignore, ignore the ropes. Just jump over them, done. Problem solved. The best way to play the game is to skip the game. You know what's wild to think about, though? As huge as this pile of toys seems, right? But this is a fuck. The kid, the, there's a child literally climbing it. That's how big it is, right? And it's taking him a hot minute to climb it. As big as this pile of toys is, this would not come close to the amount of toys Santa would need on Christmas. Isn't that wild? Like, your brain is not built to comprehend numbers as large as, like, the billions of people that are on Earth. Like, take a second right now and picture a billion people. Just in your head, just have a little a little mental image of a, a billion people, right? Odds are, you're not picturing anywhere near a billion people right now. Because your brains are not built to comprehend numbers and masses that big. So right now, you're, you're picturing probably at best around 10,000 people. Maybe 100,000 people. Hell, you might be picturing a stadium full of people, right? That's about a hundred thousand people. So about one tenth of a million people. 
a million. And you need a hundred of those to make a billion people. That's how insane it is. God, big numbers are scary like that. You want to hear an even? Uh, you want to look up an even scarier picture? Uh, I think. Well, it might be like a short video uh, someone made of a representation if every person on Earth was put into the Grand Canyon. You don't realize how fucking big the Grand Canyon is until you see how many people could fit in it. Like they put the whole population in there, and it like barely fills any of it. Big numbers, man. Big numbers are scary. What are we doing? We're, oh, we're playing the Polar Express. That's right. This is going to get all existential on the final the final run of the Polar Express. But that's what we do here at the Wind Rammer. We get all existential and shit sometimes. Especially when the games are fucking boring like this. Grab the rope. Well, why are these ropes way easier to grab? The other ropes were like way smaller and much more of a pain in the ass. These, those ones were fine. Put those at the start. There's boxes falling everywhere. Oh, we're going back down. I kind of wanted to go up. Oh, that was a cheap trick. Oh, look at this. Keeping the streak going. Oh, you ended the streak. What are you doing, lad? Okay, this, okay, that small portion of the bouncing, that's the most fun I've had in this whole game. That was alright. Well done, game designers. You did a thing. You made a small portion of your game tolerable. I mean, we got, we got to be getting at least, like, somewhere reasonably close to the top of this goddamn structure, surely. Surely for the sake of Pete. This is goddamn huge. Okay, hang on. Can we? Can we? Can we? You, 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 problem is, you gotta jump quick, but his his animations don't work like that. Jump quick! Jump quick! Okay. I don't. I don't want to jump down there. What if I? Okay. Leap of faith time. Okay, like Indiana Jones in that movie. Leap of faith time. I swear to God, if we just lost progress, I'll be I'll be genuinely a bit upset. We, d oh my God, we did, we did. Where the hell were we meant to go then? We'd leap a faith, and the, the faith led us astray. Which is a good game, better game than this. We should play Stray at some point. I like Stray. I like cats. Cats are cute. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll go back this way because this is the path. It's the only path. Okay, we're take, taking damage again. That's cool. No, that's totally cool. I, I love, the one thing I love in games is taking damage. Oh my god. So we can, Okay, so that path was pointless then. I just couldn't see it because these were in the wrong cycle. Unless we can't jump up. Can we jump up to those? I feel like we should be able to. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so they we're just in the wrong phase of their cycle. Utter bollocks. So that was like for a toy piece then. I don't want your stinky toy pieces. I want to get out of here. Oh god. Please. Please. Okay, this looks like... Yep, this is it. We're reaching the top of the toy pile. We're absolute beasts. Get me the fuck out of here. They were no help, by the way. Override successful. Once again, no context for why the scene changed. I love that. Oh, what are they? Are they cooking meth? What the fuck is going on with their chimneys? Oh, yeah, that's a good image. Santa's big swinging sack. Oh, you got your present, mate? You got what you wanted, you little shit? Couldn't wait fucking six hours. Oh, hello. How do we get in here? All right, you stowaways. Party's over. Um. Hi. But I, I, I. You're gonna be caught, Marshal. Don't worry about it. Look, we knew you were in there the entire time. It's great to have you on board. We oh, that's okay. That's uh. That's not good. Sure. 
Huh? Of course. I'll try. Well, if we I help, want. does that mean I'll be the first to meet Santa? Shut the fuck up, you little nerd. Is one of you good with handling vehicles? Because okay, I you cannot be getting me to fly this I thing. Think I could help you, Captain. This is absolutely irresponsible. I am a child. You are a captain. Got to help the other elves lighten the load. I'll do whatever I can to help. What do you need me to do? Oh, one more thing. Do my whole fucking job. Try to keep the Zeppelin from crashing into things. And make hey, sure do my whole fucking job, eh? The sack of presents isn't damaged. Yeah, keep it nice and polished. Dog, get fucked. Irresponsible. Well, god damn. I guess we're gonna do more of their job in the next episode. Uh, until next time, guys, please remember that I do love you all very much, and I very much hope to see you in the next episode, which I think will be the finale, if memory serves correctly. Um, Alright, guys. Catches.